Hello and welcome, hope you're okay, it's a typical bank holiday weekend or start of the weekend almost here in the UK, uh, very rainy, uh, been to the pet shop again and went to look for some budgies, they didn't have any, I came back with a surprise, uh, some lovely birds, so let's take a look. So here we are at the pet shop, some awesome birds, birds that I, I would hope to be able to own myself and train and things like that uh, one day not quite there at the moment but you always can hope and dream there's a scarlet macaw i think in the front there's a gala that talks in the background there lovely birds they've got in a, a giant indoor aviary in the pet shop amazing So I hope you enjoyed that quick look at the birds in the, the giant indoor aviary they've got at the pet shop. Anyway, let's get on to the birds I purchased today. I went with uh, the idea of maybe coming back with a few budgies and maybe one cock canary to go with the red factor. You can see they are together. Red factor hen, uh, she's still okay. The cock bird died while she was laying eggs, which was very unfortunate as everything was going to plan. So here you can see in the past, I've uh, successfully uh, bread canaries before really enjoyed it really satisfying and enjoyable experience so i want to do it again so uh, i've managed to find well hopefully some cockbirds well i went last time and i i bought a few canaries and they all turned out to be uh, what i think female not singing at all so i've got two birds that the lady thinks uh, it's gonna be cockbirds and i'm gonna I took my chances, I bought two lovely, one in here is a crested one, it's got a bit of red factor gene in him, he's a lovely bird, they're only a year, all these birds are only just about a year old, so perfect, so this is the first one I got, uh, hopefully he's going to be a boy, uh, I've got him in a cage near the female, so we'll wait and see. And here is the second one that I think is going to be a cockbird. I, I've often found in the past that the, in, when you're in the pet shop, when you're looking at birds in a group, the, the hens, they tend to make chirpy noises. And then some people make the mistake of thinking that they're going to be the cockbirds, but they're not. The cockbirds tend to be completely silent until they just want to sing and then they just burst out into a full song. But I don't, I, there's no real science to it obviously you just have to wait and be patient until the, the canary bird sings in full song this canary is a, a bonus one uh, the wife uh, saw it and fell in love straight away and I think it's a, a pretty bird as well it's uh, white with a mixture it's got the, the red factor gene in it lovely mixture of the two colors and i think this bird might be a hen so if we have a spare cock bird then i guess it, we can try and breed this one too so that's a bonus uh it's how things work when you you breed birds sometimes you sometimes you get losses and then sometimes you have to make the most of the opportunities that come by you And those aren't the only canaries I've got. I have got, uh, as you may already know, two hen, what I believe to be hen birds anyway, with uh, one of our own bred uh, cockbirds in the mixed, well, the new, the rebuilt Avery. Uh, they're in with some parakeets and some society finches. I'm hoping that at least one of the hens will settle down and try at least try and have some babies. And that's something to look forward to. So I'm going to leave you with now is some footage of the canaries and uh, some video footage from the pet shop today. So take it easy, look after yourself and I'll see you in the next video.